2020. No complete internet marketing plan is really complete without an email marketing campaign. Email marketing is still one of the most high converting and cost effective online marketing strategies you can implement. With email marketing, you can reach your leads and potential customers right where they're most likely to convert, in their email inboxes. Today, we are going to show you how to create a powerful email marketing campaign the easy way in 2019 and 2020. Step number one, prepare your email incentive. If you want to convert website visitors into email subscribers, then you have to set up an attractive email incentive. The most powerful type of email incentive is a lead magnet. A lead magnet is an exclusive piece of content that you offer to visitors in exchange for their email addresses. A lead magnet can be an ebook, video training, report, or infographic that you only send to people that sign up to your mailing list through your opt in page. As you can see here, we have prepared an ebook with content that is not on our website. If a visitor wants to get the ebook, they will need to sign up to our mailing list. Depending on your type of business, you can also offer incentives such as discount codes and coupons. The next step after preparing your email incentive is building your email campaign. So let's move on. Step number two, building your email campaign. Creating an email list. You need to create an email list to collect the email addresses of people to sign up to your mailing list. An email list is simply a database that connects to your sign up forms. When a lead enters their email address into the sign up form, it is saved to your email list. The easiest way to create an email list is with an email marketing service. In this example, we'll use MailChimp to show you how to create an email list the easy way in very few steps. We chose MailChimp because it offers you basic email marketing features, and you can use it to capture up to 2,000 subscribers and to send up to 12,000 emails a month, all for free, so you can get started right away. Let's start on the MailChimp dashboard. Click on the Audience option on the top bar. Now click on the Create Audience button. Now it is time to set up the email list. First, enter a name for your new list in the audience name field. Now enter the sender email address that you want your subscriber list to see into the default from address field. Now enter the sender's name in the default from name field. In the remind people how they signed up to your list field, enter a brief statement to remind subscribers what they agreed to when they signed up. In this example, will remind subscribers that they opted in to receive the free ebook. You can additionally enable form settings, such as double opt-ins and notifications. You can click on Save when you finish setting up your new email list. Setting up a sign-up form. Now it is time to create a sign-up form to capture email contacts on your site. In this example, we will use MailChimp's built-in sign-up form builder. If you're using MailChimp, Click on the Create a Sign-Up Form option on this page to get started. Find the Subscriber Pop-Up option and click on the Select button. Now you have to design your pop-up opt-in. First, select your pop-up format. In this example, we'll select Slide because it doesn't interrupt the user experience. Now click on the Display menu to select when to show your pop-up. Here you can select to show your pop-up to visitors immediately. After 5 seconds, after 20 seconds, after scrolling to the middle of the page, after scrolling to the bottom of the page, or on exit. In this example, we will select Scroll to Middle of Page. Now select your image alignment and font. In the Button Style section, enter your opt-in copy into the text field. A neat internet marketing trick is to use calls to action in the first person. So instead of typing Sign Up Now, you type Yes, Sign Me Up. Now select Text Color, Background Color, and Hover Color. For the best effect, select White as Text Color, Green as Background Color, and Red as Hover Color. Now check the Full Width option to make the CTA button the same size as the Sign Up fields. Now click on Add Photo to add the image of your email incentive to the pop-up. Now click on the Fields tab. Check the First Name option, and then click on Required to make it a required field. By asking for the first name on signup forms, you can personalize the emails that you send to your subscribers. Now click on the Content tab. Click on the Body field to add a call to action on the pop-up. 
Now I'll click on the Sign Up Success Message field to add a thank you message and the URL to claim your email incentive. To add this URL, click on Insert Link. Then click on the Link To menu and select the format of your email incentive. In this example, we'll select File. Then we'll upload and add our lead magnet to the file library. And then we'll click on Insert. Now that your email capture form is complete, click on the Generate Code button to generate an embed code to add the pop-up to your site. And then copy the embed code. Now you have your email list connected to your email capture form. And you can insert it to your site by pasting the embed code into your site's HTML.